Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo on business groups and user management. During this demo, we are going to explain business groups and assigning users to those groups. Second, we'll log into vCAC as the tenant admin and create a business group. The general purpose of the tenant administrator is to create groups, policies, and configurations that will be used by all business groups throughout the tenant. As a tenant administrator, you will configure VCAC for the needs of various organizations that are using VCAC. This includes user and group management, tenant branding, and business policies such as approvals and entitlements. Tenant admins are responsible for further subsetting users within their tenant group by creating one or more business groups and assigning users to that group. Infrastructure resources in a fabric group can be reserved for each business group. Reservations specify specific amounts of CPU, memory, and storage, including specific storage devices and networks. This allows multiple business groups to share resources from the same host or host cluster, but not consume more resources than they were allocated. Within each tenant, multiple business groups can be created. Groups can share resources from the same fabric group, or utilize different fabric groups for greater isolation of resources between groups. Log in as our tenant admin and click the goals icon. Navigate to fabric configuration, create business groups. This is the same as clicking on the infrastructure tab and then groups, business groups. To create a new business group, select new business group in the upper right hand corner. The new business group page is where we define new IT consumer groups. Again, these typically align with business units or departments. For our demo, we will create a field training group. Let's populate the name and description fields. In this example, we will specify field training for the name and all field employees for the description. The default machine prefix is the default naming convention for our resources. Let's choose field for our group. Active Directory container is the desired AD organizational unit you wish the resources to be placed in. The remaining fields is where we define our users and their roles. Group Manager. The Group Manager is in charge of creating blueprints for the group, approving requests as well as access to capacity, audit, and chargeback reporting. The support user can work on behalf of others in the group. This can be for requesting resources, as well as ongoing management of the resources. The user role is where we supply the group participant. Typically, this is an AD security group, but you can also specify individual users. As with most objects in vCloud Automation Center, you can specify properties that are specific to this group. A cost center is a good example of a property to apply to a business group. To save our newly created business group, select OK. We have now created our new business group. We have defined who our users are and what their roles are within vCloud Automation Center. You are now ready to start reserving resources for your group. For more information, continue on to the video on reserving compute resources. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, please refer to additionally available videos.